Hello, everybody. In Standard Today, I wanted to play with something that was going to be putting counters onto our creatures and trying to really make all will be one super powerful. And I wound up going with an angels list that I would love to just be able to see dominate. So let's try this deck out and see how it performs and make sure to stick around at the end of the games where we're going to talk about what's in the deck and how the deck performed. All right, so we're going first, and this is actually a hand that I can actually play, but we just need one more land, and then we're good. So. Let's see if we can actually pull it off. That's not a land. Because if we get one land, we can get the Egon Joe out. I need this to be more expensive. Because I need to be able to play the Egon Joe. Because we need our lands. Yeah, I need, I need our lands. So. Oh, recruitment officer. Okay. There's a land. Thank you. Thank you. So now we can go get one more. Thank you for the planes. That is incredibly helpful. It is super helpful. Then we get Paragon down. Where do we go? Steal Seraph and hold and keep the surge. Um. Yeah, let's go Steel Seraph. We'll go with that. Um, that one. Yeah, that was weird. Not exactly sure what the opponent was doing there. But let's go Sarah Paragon. Throw that on you. Life link. And I'll attack the invasion. And we win. We win. We're too fast at that point. Our stuff is too big for the opponent. That's a good win. A deck fine. The deck finally gave us what we needed after a couple games. I mean, it's not going to be one that I end up keeping. This is better. This surge isn't going to be played for quite some time. So we'll just wait on it. Um, Oswith, so counters. Okay, so they're being a little slow in the moment, which is somewhat helpful. Oh man, okay, um, that's not as helpful, um, so we'll need the Archangel to really come down, this can't kill the Bloated Contaminator, I'm just gonna have to let that go. Yeah, proliferate. Yeah. Mm. 
Um, the Archangel is going to have to come down. No attacks, because I got to I gotta hold myself up. Um, the Archangel is probably going to block the Bloated. It'll survive, which really stinks. Please don't put it on the Bloated. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, bloated. Oh, okay. Um, um, what do I even put it on? I don't know if I can. Um, Archangel. Yeah, we'll do we'll do the black one. It's gonna do two damage. Ah, that really stinks. It really stinks. If we can get a land here, we can go steal Seraph right away. I'm double blocking this bloated. But that's game. It's game. Yeah. It's gonna be game. Oh no! Dang. We are just too slow. All I have to do is put Ozolith on the auger, and it's game. Oh, it's game over anyways, big brawler. Yeah. Man, we just had the wrong land. We were just too slow. We were just too slow. Unfortunate Morgan into a slow hand and they were just too fast. Morgan again. All, right, all, all will be one is going to have to drop. Unfortunately. All right, go planes. We'll get Giada down. See if Giada survives. It does. It does survive. Okay. Um. Oh shoot! I should have done uh, the opposite. I should have attacked anyways. Like I, I should have gone Steel Seraph first, and then the Guardian flips the Steel Seraph. That would have been great. That would have been great. That's just me playing angry because I just haven't been able to draw into the lands that I would like to be able to be drawing into. Um, I mean, I haven't really been able to play this deck the way that I've wanted. So that's just me playing on a little bit of a tilt. Yeah, eating alive, okay. That would have been nice last turn. Let's attack in. And then I'm gonna go invasion. Oh, I will make the blob just incredibly expensive. Let's 
So yeah, Gloom Shrieker is gonna come down. Okay, our turn. Elspeth, it wasn't a land, which is sad. That makes me sad. Yeah, so that'll come down, and then Steel Seraph will also come down. And we'll go ahead and end our turn there. Okay, Gloom Shaker, yeah. Kaya is not a land. So yeah, we'll attack with uh, eight there. We'll go to end our turn. They are dead on the next turn. Consuming Blob. Okay. So I think this game is over. Bit of a couple misplays um, in this game. Um, that we could have done, could have done better. There you go. At the end there, just showing you what a Planeswalker, these Planeswalkers in our deck can actually do when we've got stuff going. All right, welcome back after those matches. Um, this deck I wish was better than it actually is. I think that uh, trying a couple things out just kind of messed the games up. We definitely, I feel like we definitely need more lands in this, in this deck. Um, we've got too many things that cost too much um, that uh, make things uh, difficult. We need, I, it just feels like we need more in the deck. Um, all, be, all will be ones needs to definitely drop down from four. This is a card that definitely didn't need to be in the deck. I wanted to try it out and I just wanted to try something a little different with it. But uh, this, this iteration didn't work out well um, at all with this deck. So um, it just needs to be more focused. Either go in all on the angels or don't. Um, and that's just something that uh, needs to be better about the deck. It, it need This deck is not one that you should keep at all. Um, it should definitely just leave it alone. Um, it was an idea that I wanted to try with All, all Will Be One and trying to get Giada to give counters to all of our angels. I thought it was a cool idea. Didn't work out. Don't do it. So we'll quickly go over what's in the deck, why I chose to put stuff in the deck, um, just because that's what we do. Even though this deck is not, so if you want to come up with another idea, it's probably good to hear why I put the stuff in the deck. Um, so here we go, Surge of Salvation. This is in the deck to protect our stuff. Um, there's a lot of car, uh, instants and sorceries that get rid of all of our stuff, so being able to give our stuff hexproof is uh, really helpful, especially mono red burn decks. We can also give ourselves hexproof. Um, Giada is in here because it gives our other angels plus one plus one counters when they enter the battlefield. That's basically the reason why Giada is in this deck. It's the angel that gives counters. So the more angels we're going to have on the field, the better all will be one will be because we're doing a lot of damage with all of the counters that we're being able to get. 
Invasion of Gobacon is in here. It gives us three counters for all we won. It also slows down the opponent's deck. Good card. It also gives us plus one plus one counters whenever we attack when we're able to flip the invasion. So it could be really good with an all, be, all, all will be one. Um, we've got Guardian of Gearper. It's an angel. It gives us the ability to blink stuff back in so then we can give it more counters with, with Giada. Because every time it comes, an angel comes into the battlefield with Giada on the field, it gives us more plus one plus one counters. So I like that idea to have that in there. It's also a 3 3, which is nice. Restoration of Egon Joe, it gives us one counter every time it goes through another chapter. It also gives us our planes and we're able to bring stuff right back from our graveyard. And then it becomes a creature um, whenever we finish it finish the saga so i like it in there um angel fire ignition it's our it gives us plus one plus one counters so it works with all will be one and it also gives us the abilities of vigilance travel life link and indestructible and haste until the end of the turn so it's also a protection and it has flashbacks so it is helpful to be able to have that it is a sorcery so it makes things a little bit tough when you're trying to use it as protection, but it can really help us out in a tough spot if we really need it to. And of course the two plus one plus one counters, like I already said, that works well with all will be one. Archangel of Wrath, I like this one. We are in the Mardu colors, so Archangel of Wrath works really well because we've got the two, the black and the red. Um, so that when it comes into the battlefield, whenever it deals that damage, we're getting lifelink with that damage. Plus, it's a pretty good way of getting rid of really small creatures if we re if we really need to. So I do like having that. Sarah Paragon, we're able to bring stuff back from our graveyard, so we I do enjoy that. It helps us get to Giada's back and the Guardians back whenever we need any of that. So as well as the Restoration and the Gobacon. So it works really well to be able to have the Sarah Paragon to be able to get bring those back because almost all of those are going to be helping us get counters for the all will be one. Elspeth Resplendent, it's a really good planeswalker. I do enjoy playing with Elspeth Resplendent. Um, plus, we can get all those angels, which would be awesome if we had it with Giada, but we're also able to find stuff um, and give plus one plus one counters. Plus, it's five counters on it for all will be one. So, I like having that. All will be one. Obviously, we've been talking about it the whole time. Um, every time we put counters on stuff, we're dealing damage to anything that the opponent has. So enjoy being able to have that. If we can get it to work, I have four in there. We sometimes drew way, way too many, and then we drew no lands. So sometimes that is the problem. Need to drop it down a little bit, but I wanted to make sure that we we're able to play with it, even though we still didn't really get to play with it. Um, Liesa, Forgotten Archangel, it's Flying Lifelink, 4-5, our stuff dies, we get it back. It's really nice be able to be able to have the Liesa. Uh, put Nahiri's Resolve in there, it's kind of the same thing with the Guardian, it brings us st our stuff back, gives it more counters when Giada's out on the field. Um, and then it gives our creatures haste when it's on the field so this is probably one of those things that is probably unnecessary um i think the deck really suffers from trying to i throw in guardian in here and then i'm like well i've got to throw in the resolve in there too so it, it's a problem that i run into where I try too many ideas and it just clogs up the deck still serif really nice has that prototype ability so then we can Get it out there. The Guardian works well with the Steel Seraf. The last game I messed it up and I put the Guardian in before the Steel Seraph because if we bring the Steel Seraph back with the Guardian, it's a 5-4 flying as its thing instead of being a prototype. So that would have been a really nice thing to be able to have in that game. And then last of all, we've got Kaya. Six counters. Kaya's just really good. Kaya's a really good card. Um, use it for the 
six counters that we're going to be getting from the all will be one and we're able to exile other stuff that the opponent has so that's the deck in a nutshell like i said it is not a keepable deck but has some ideas that i thought it was a cool idea but it just didn't work out thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end of this video um i deeply appreciate it and until next time